So today I thought we'd talk about a phenomena called the telluric current. And the telluric current is an energy that emanates from the centre of the earth and surrounds the entire planet. So if you want to know more about the telluric current, then stick with me. So the telluric current is supposedly an energy force that's given off or emanates from the Earth's core. It is sometimes carried up to the Earth's surface through underground springs. And these springs have healing properties. Now it's interesting to note that on a previous video we spoke about the world tree and the spring at the base of the world tree which was fed by the the sea of chaos and that sea or in that sea was a great serpent well it's interesting to note that one of the symbols for the telluric en or for telluric energy is a serpent or a dragon so whether or not you believe in this uh, supposedly druidic mystical force that emanates from the centre of the earth well that's really not the point here so what's important here is really the commonality between the two myths both with the spring and both with the serpent being symbolic of the waters beneath the earth. So coming back to the telluric current again and you may be asking well yeah okay so what's its purpose? We've heard it's an energy that emanates from the centre of the earth but what good is that to me? So you may have heard in other mystical circles people talking about solar and lunar currents and their usage and purpose and there are times that are better to use these currents for some things than there are for other things. In other words they treat these currents almost like it's a sea and they have tides. And it's the same with the telluric current. So let's have an example here then. In some Wiccan traditions they use the lunar currents and they use the waxing of the moon for harnessing positive energies and they use the waning phases of the moon to harness those banishing or negative energies. So when I say negative energies it doesn't it's not necessarily a bad thing. It can be the sending away of something such as trying to get rid of a habit of smoking or a gambling habit. 
Now there's no doubt that the moon has a very obvious influence on human behavior and emotion. And all you have to do to know that is to go out on a bright, clear night and look up at the full moon and tell me that this is not an awe-inspiring and magical sight. And you tell me then that the moon has no influence over you. So the lunar current is really very easy. You use the waxing phase for expansionist and creative projects and harnessing creative energies. And you use the declining, waning phase for banishing or harnessing negative energies. It couldn't be any more straightforward. So what about the telluric currents? Historically, it's quite clear to see that all these springs, these underground waters, these springs and spas were venerated by the Celts before and during Roman times. And this is because it was believed that there were energies seeping through from the underworld into the water, life-giving, healing energies. And we've only got to look at all the healing springs and spas that were built by the Celts throughout the entire country. We have the spas at Bath, where Sulis Minerva was venerated. We have Nordens at Lydney Park on the Severn River. We have Coventina further north. And there are many more. But what of the practical, magical workings of the Telluric current? So the Telluric current draws its energy from the center of the earth, or in times of the Celts, from the underworld. And when dealing with the Telluric currents, we are tapping into the energies of the forces that exist within the underworld. Or if the underworld is too big a leap of faith for you, then think of it as a plane of parallel existence which contains the spiritual aspects of everything that is manifest in this physical world. It is the world of pure energy. And it is one half of the same physical coin, the hidden half, if you like, that must exist for the physical realm, the world as we know it today, to exist. Now, it may surprise you to know that telluric currents are a scientific fact. Now science doesn't say that you can utilize 
these deluded currents to harness their energy for your own personal gain but deluded currents do exist and they are the energies, the electrical energies that flow around and under the surface of the earth and this is how we get lightning strikes where we've got all this electrical energy building up in the thunder clouds in the sky and in turn this creates energy in the earth which then creates the lightning strike there are some that think that the telluric and solar current work together in conjunction with the lunar current and the solar current is the current of the mind the telluric current is that of the body and the physical and the lunar current is the soul and fuses the mind and body with spirit it is said that when these three currents are awakened in an individual then the inner senses awaken and a great enlightenment unfolds. <laughs>